Hi, this is Alana. So glad you joined us for our prayer journaling challenge. This is day one. The purpose of this challenge is just to offer many different ideas of what you can do with the prayer journal. I'm not saying that every single one of these things you have to do every single day in order to be a good Christian or anything like that. And even the exercises that you do find helpful, you can just do on a sporadic basis. But hopefully you will find ways in this challenge to draw closer to God through the deliberate discipline of prayer journaling. So I'm really excited to get started. Today, for our first part of the challenge, we're just going to start with a brain dump, which basically means making a list of things as quickly as you can. We're going to be doing a gratitude brain dump. So I'm going to have a timer going in just a minute. You can grab your prayer journal, just write gratitude and today's date on top, or you can write gratitude brain dump if you want to remember what you're doing. If you don't have a journal, feel free to do this in a Word document or on a piece of scrap paper. Really, this the point isn't to end up with a notebook full of pretty prayers. The point is just to spend this time connecting with the Lord. So when the timer starts, you're just going to be writing as many things you can think of that you're thankful for. The things that we often take for granted, some of the physical blessings you have. Let's also not forget our spiritual blessings, the fact that we have this gift of prayer, this gift of salvation, and really anything that comes to mind. Don't force yourself to feel like you have to be very profound and deep and theological. If you're thankful for your fuzzy bathrobe because it feels great, throw that on there. If you're thankful for your coffee because it's delicious and helps you get through the day, throw that on there just as things come to mind. The purpose is to just write as many things as we can. And really what we're doing is just training ourselves to focus on all the blessings we've been given. So let's get started. Okay, so that is time for day one of our prayer journal challenge. This is one of my favorite ways to use a prayer journal. Even if all you do is at the end of each day, write three or five things that you're thankful for, it is a great way to keep praise and thanksgiving in the front of your mind so that we can really be obeying the Bible's command when it tells us to give thanks in all circumstances it's also a great way just to train ourselves to be focusing on the positive and not to be taking God's blessings for granted. So we will see you next time.